In this example, I need to find the following and then sketch the graph of f of x equals negative the quantity x minus 2 all squared. This is the information I need to find before I can sketch the graph. And what type of function do I have here? Notice if I multiply out this binomial, I'm going to get an x squared term. So this is a quadratic function and it is written in standard form. So quickly reviewing, I need to compare it to y equals a times the quantity x minus h all squared plus k. When I graph this function, I'm going to get a parabola. It'll have a vertex at the ordered pair hk. If a is positive, it will open up, and if a is negative, it will open down. So the first piece of information I need to find is does the parabola open up or down? That depends on a, the leading coefficient. What is a in this case? In this case, a is negative 1. It is less than 0. It is negative, And that means the parabola is going to open down. Next, to find the vertex, it's at the ordered pair hk. h, the x-coordinate of the vertex, is at the opposite of this number. So it's going to be at the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. k, the y-value of the vertex, is this number. Is there a k value here? No. So we know k is 0. So the vertex is at the ordered pair 2, 0. Next, the axis of symmetry. This is a vertical line through the vertex. All vertical lines have the equation x equals a number. And what's that number in this case? The x value of the vertex is 2. So there's the axis of symmetry. It's x equals 2. To find the y-intercept, you always set x equal to 0. So I need to find f of 0. So replacing this x with a 0, I get the opposite of 0 minus 2 all squared, which is the opposite of 0 minus 2 is negative 2 all squared. Now you need to square first, so it's the opposite of negative 2 all squared is positive 4. So that's just going to give me negative 4. So the y-intercept is at the ordered pair 0, negative 4. Next, to find the x-intercepts, you set y equal to 0, or in this case, f of x equal to 0. So I'm going to put 0 here. 0 equals the opposite of x minus 2 all squared. To get the x minus 2 all squared by itself, divide both sides by negative 1. 0 divided by negative 1 is 0 equals x minus 2 all squared. If x minus 2 all squared equals 0, we know that x minus 2 has to equal 0. And adding 2 to both sides of this equation, we're going to get x equals 2. So the x-intercept is at the ordered pair 2, 0. Now, since this is a double root, that means the graph at this point is going to touch the x-axis and turn around, which is what we would expect at the vertex. Now, moving on to my next page. Now, I put all the information I found on the previous page over here. So plotting our points, the vertex was at 2, 0. Start at the origin, right to nowhere in the y direction. There is my vertex. The axis of symmetry, x equals 2, is a vertical line that goes through the vertex. I'm just going to graph it in with a dotted line. So that is the line x equals 2. The y-intercept is 0, negative 4, start at the origin, go nowhere in the x-direction, down 4, there is my y-intercept. Notice I only have two points since the x-intercept is the same point as the vertex. So 
so I need to calculate some more points for my parabola. I could just calculate one more point when x equals 1 and then reflect everything across the axis of symmetry to get two more points over here. I prefer to calculate three more points when x is 1, 3, and 4, and then use the axis of symmetry to check my arithmetic. So I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. Here are my calculations to figure out function values when x equals 1, 3, and 4, giving me these three points. I'm plotting these points, 1, negative 1, x is 1, y is negative 1. Next point, 3, negative 1, x is 3, y is negative 1. Last point, 4, negative 4, x is 4, y is negative 4. Now, does that look like a parabola that opens down? Yes. Does my arithmetic check? This point is a reflection of this one across the axis of symmetry, and so does this one. Now all I have to do is graph in my parabola, which is hard to do on this pad. So here's about the best I can do. Don't forget to put arrows on both ends of the parabola. And the last thing I need to do is find the domain and the range. The domain is very easy. For every quadratic function, the domain is all real numbers. Written in interval notation, it's negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is not all real numbers. And looking at the graph, these two arrows point all the way down. So the range, remember, is the y values, and it's going to start at negative infinity. So I have parentheses, negative infinity, comma, all the way up until this point here. And what is the y value of this point? It is zero. So it goes all the way to zero. Since there's a point where y equals zero, you put a square bracket on it.